and today we're making mac and cheese which is a great italian american recipe but today we're giving it a little bit of an italian twist <music> Of course, mac and cheese is a classic of the Italian-American cuisine. In Italy, we don't actually eat it very much or pretty much at all. But since you guys all love it, I thought of doing it. But we're going to give it a little bit more of an authentic Italian twist to it. And I hope you like it. We're going to be using three cheese. I think fundamentally you want to use Parmigiano or Grana Padano in our case today. You want to use some blue cheese like Gorgonzola to just give a little bit of a grown-up feel to your mac and cheese. And then the third is up to you. We're gonna use Emmental, but you could have used Taleggio or any other cheese that kind of melts away. And we're gonna use a bechamel to kind of mix all of that cheese together. And then we're gonna to top it off with breadcrumbs, which is gonna be golden brown in the oven. And for the pasta, I thought of using the riccioli, which are pretty much like macaroni, except they're a little bit more twirly. So it's gonna be fine. For the bechamel, we're gonna start off in a separate pan to warm up the milk. Let's try not to make a mess. Well, close to a mess. So that's on low heat. We just wanted to get a little bit to room temperature. And in the bigger pot, we're gonna put everything together. We start off by melting the butter. With the butter molten, we add the flour. At this point, we're gonna mix it together and we have to make sure that the flour cooks. So this will take a few minutes, but the best way of knowing if the flour is done cooking is a little taste. And the great thing about this recipe is that everything happens quite quickly. So we're gonna start already boiling the pasta, or I should say boiling the water for the pasta. Keep mixing it, otherwise it burns. I'll just give it a taste, it still needs a little bit more cooking. Once all the flour is cooked away, we're gonna add the milk and mix. And here, if you have a whisk, that's even better. Bechamel, of course, needs to be silky smooth. And once everything is incorporated, fire back on, and this then will start becoming a little bit more dense over the next few minutes. We can add a pinch of salt. And then if you like it, which I do, you can grate a little bit of nutmeg. In the meantime, I found a little whisk, and this is much better than the wooden spoon. Not long to go, so we're gonna do two things. First of all, switch on your oven, 190, fun setting and it's time to start cooking the pasta. The pasta takes about nine to 10 minutes. We're gonna cook for half that time because the rest of the cook is gonna happen in the oven. We have the water here boiling, we're gonna add the salt and we're gonna add our little macaroni. Keep an eye on the time. After four minutes, this get taken out. So our basic bechamel is ready and now we need to make it super cheesy. I'm gonna turn off the heat because it's quite hot now right now. We're gonna add some of our Gran Prodano Give it a mix, make sure it melts nicely into the bechamel. We're gonna add our Emmental slices, just chop them up so it's easier for it to melt. And for this, we're gonna go to taste. So no specific measurements. We want it to have a rich, deep, cheesy flavor. And to achieve that, you need one of my favorite cheese, the Gorgonzola. Remember, at this point, the fire is off, so this is just melting from the heat of the bechamel. Oh my god, the smell! <laughs> you can see the stringiness already. Let's give this a little taste. Mm. Oh. Delicious. I'm going to put more parmigiano. I want more of that salty nuttiness and a little bit more gorgonzola as well for that depth. So we give it a taste, we adjust it, add a little bit more cheese, and in the meantime, the pasta is done half its cook, so we're gonna drain it and throw it into this. At this point, this pasta is half cooked, and we mix everything together. At this point, this is gloriously cheesy, but the pasta is not cooked. And we're gonna just do a final taste test, make sure that our cheesy mix is the right flavor, exactly how we want it. And then we're gonna transfer it to the oven tray. Now let's transfer it. Try to get all the cheesiness out. Just give it a shake until it's nice and flat. 
And now we're gonna do two things, breadcrumbs at the top. And the breadcrumbs are gonna become golden and crispy and crunchy. And everybody's gonna fight to have one of these crunchy bits. And then the other thing we're gonna do is a little bit more grana padana at the top as well. This one will become nice and crunchy. Because you always have two people in your guests. You have the ones that want all the gooey things in the middle, and then you got those guys that just want all the crunchy stuff. So like this, everybody's happy. 15 minutes, oh, it's looking amazing. Look, uh, we put it here so we don't burn ourselves. The smell coming out of this is insane. And look at all the crunchy bits, oh, I love it. Now for the moment of truth, it's fuming hot. Let's try not to burn. Mm. This is good. So good. Go ahead and do it. Buon appetito.